Next, I'd like to explore plurality, the, the uh, rule of thumb that says we shouldn't have plural items in the database. And that might sound like a really easy thing to do, but you might not realize what it results in when we, we talk about a, a database um, design. So let's say we've got now a, a portion of our YouTube database where we've got users who have created specific videos. And so we've already got this uh, <clears throat> relationship here where we describe that a particular user has gone ahead and created a video. And, and so we, we've, we've got things exactly the, the way things should be. But let's say we also want to be able to keep track of for um, purposes of giving information to either advertisers or to creators of content or f for whatever reason. We want to keep track of not only who has created a video, but who has watched a video. In this case, now we don't have a single one-to-many relationship here where a user creates a video. Now we can have a video watched by many different users and our users can watch many different videos. So we have a true many-to-many -many relationship that exists be between those. And if we, in, in this uh, tool, if we try to insert a many to many relationship and let me pull this out here so it's it's clear if we try to put a many to many relationship look what it's done it's automatically created a new table for it. And, and maybe it looks like a lolcats with video has users uh, title but the idea still is that a what is called an associative entity has to be created that reflects this what, what we can't do is um, in either the videos and, uh, table or in the users table keep track because if we had in the videos table and we wanted to keep track of all the users who watched that video that would be a plural item likewise in the users table we can't keep track of all of the videos that that user has watched because that would be a plural item. So the only way that we can resolve that many-to-many -many relationship in a um, physical uh, ERD is to add this third table, this associative entity in here. And notice what it does. It puts the ID from the videos table, the ID from the users table, and the combination of those two could be uh, w would have to be our primary key and we could add extra information into that we could add a, a new column that w would be something like um, when so that would indicate when that user actually went ahead and watched that video and so we uh, now have additional information that indicates that viewing took place with this video by this user at this particular time. And, and so we could add that uh, additional information. But even if we didn't have that, so let's uh, delete that, and we just wanted to have that many-to-many -many relationship here, we are required to have this associative entity as a, a natural outgrowth of, of that rule of thumb. So uh, this is an example of what happens as a result of making sure that we don't have plural or multi-valued fields in our tables.